The nation's most restrictive abortion law now in effect in Texas, banning nearly all abortions in the state. How did we get here? I mean, this is one of those things where it's been a long time coming. Really, this is part of a backlash that has been in progress since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973. It essentially bans all abortions after six weeks. So this is six weeks from your last missed, your last menstrual period. Not very many people know that they're pregnant at that point, which is why you see so many people who are saying that this is essentially a ban on all abortion. You know, the anti-abortion movement has been very smart and very deliberate with their legal strategies. President Donald Trump, will announce a Supreme Court nominee who will uphold the God-given liberties enshrined in our Constitution. Like, it's, it's not a coincidence that this happened now. More breaking news tonight, a stunning Supreme Court decision. Justice is voting five to four, refusing to block a Texas law. A big part of it is the makeup of the Supreme Court. All those justices who were appointed by Trump, they all declined to intervene. They all like refused to, to rule on what's happening in Texas. The court was very explicit in its decision that it was not ruling on whether or not the law is constitutional. That said, you know, you're already seeing Republicans in other states fall in line, particularly in the context of Florida, is that Florida is a huge access state for the South. If Florida goes, abortion access in the South is basically gone. I welcome pro-life legislation. The really scary part to me about this Texas law is the vigilantism that it encourages. It empowers private citizens anywhere in the U.S. to sue anyone who performs or even helps transport a woman to get an illegal abortion in Texas. It could be a Lyft driver to take a woman to a clinic who could be sued. And I think it also ties back to what we've been seeing in the Republican Party. There's this idea of like vigilantism as being like taking the system into your own hands. You know, I, th I think we could even like connect this very easily back to the attitudes that brought people to the Capitol on January 6th. I think we can tie it back to the ways that we've seen like militias form. It's all sort of the same brand. And it's really terrifying to me that now we see it getting legal validation.